What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and welcome back to the Sammy Hollins Road to Glory. Let's waste as little time as possible getting into the matchup. Clemson versus Georgia Tech. First ACC game of the season. Let's go. On the road for the first time this season. Georgia Tech. And uh, those jerseys are awesome. I gotta say. I like those quite a bit. But Clemson is looking to come in and take home this victory, which would be, what, the 14th or 15th in a row dating back to week two of last season? Let's go, Clemson. Number one for a reason. Let's get off to a good start. Three and out. Sweet. Well, Georgia Tech, I'm afraid of your option a little bit just because it's annoying to deal with, but we'll see how it goes. And they go with that triple option. Oh, it's a fumble, and the first play is almost... <laughs> It's almost Clemson football. They lose 17 yards. Well, that's the way we wanted to open the game. What now? More option. Don't pitch it. Oh, how was that? Oh, so close to a safety. Third and 30. As bad as I want to go get the safety, I don't want to give up a stupid play. So I'll play extremely so Oh, they're running option. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. That's not going to work. Sammy Hollins. He knows how to stop the option, hopefully. So, still no score in the first quarter. I believe the quarterback's name is Sinjin Days. I'm not quite sure what the first name, but... Oh, look at that throw. Go back to the option. Second down and ten. We're going to see some more option here, obviously. It's an option offense, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Our run defense is built to stop this. If they try anything up the middle, I have confidence. But once they go outside, uh, we'll see. Third and eight. Out of the gun, split backs. And Sinjin Days outside. That's good, but it is not enough for the first down. Come on, we need the game's first points, guys. Cole Stout, lead the team down the field. There we go, 10 yards, 6 yards. Penalties also help. And then we cap it off with a touchdown. 7-0 Clemson. This cloud is quiet. It's only 7-0, guys. And, oh, man, this option hasn't had one successful play today. Second and 12. And this time, Days wants to keep it. And he gets back the two yards they lost. If they can't throw, though, their offense is going to really struggle because we're so good against the run. And Days lobs it. Oh, my goodness. I thought I had a legitimate shot at that. Good zone coverage. All right, add on to this lead. 46 yards, yeah. On command, basically. I speak, they score. First down and 10. 3.22 to play in the second quarter. And I didn't even see where the ball goes. Second down and nine. These option offenses are fun to play against. Here's the option again. The pitch back in. I want to hit him. Let me have some fun. Third down and long, and we're sending the blitz. We're saying we dare you to throw at us. Well, they'll surely try. And there's the throw again! And I'm going to have a shot at that pick this game. He, he He's an interception prone quarterback. And watch us go back down the field and punt the ball. 14-0, though. Good start for Clemson, especially on defense. They even have positive yards. First and 10. They're throwing. That's just too easy. That's going to be a touchdown for Clemson. Too easy, man. And I thought we were going to make quick work of Kent State last week, but we're off to an even better start against Georgia Tech. Here's that slant. Oh, he goes underneath. He's smartened up. Second down and five. And Day's back to throw. He's got a man underneath. That's a, Oh, it's a drop. Third and five, and they have one receiver. Two wings on the outside. It's going to be an option of some sort. Which side, though? That's what I want to know. Come to my side. It's open. Oh! <laughs> and welcome to the second half of the Clemson domination. 24-0 over the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets as their option offense has done nothing successful today. And they've continued to drop the football. And now what do they have in store? Maybe a deep throw? Nah, just kidding. Oh, and another drop! And the Troy Williamson highlight reel continues. Oh, outside. Oh my goodness, they dropped three passes on that drive. That one was legitimate, but the other two are inexcusable. Not a good showing by Georgia Tech's offense. Not at all. Oh my goodness, Watkins just went 52 yards. <laughs> 31 to 0. Georgia Tech, what happened? This team is number 14? I want to see Georgia Tech play Kent State now. First and 10. And over the middle. Wow. 
Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Georgia Tech take on Kent State because I don't know which team is honestly better. Second and three. And Day's pass is nearly picked. Come on, crowd, get into the game. Oh, it's a toss outside, and you can lose two or three. I'll admit, I was concerned about the losses this team had sustained on both sides of the football. Oh, but I have confidence now looking at this offense put up a 38 burger on the board and our defense has allowed what like seven or eight straight shutout quarters second down and ten and that short pass is complete we obviously shut out Kent State two quarters already shot in this game I'm not sure what the previous game but uh yes we have a nice little stretch going third and three and oh they actually catch us with a little misdirection there and it still doesn't work 38 to 0. Sammy Hollins only has one tackle on the day. He hasn't made a tackle since the first quarter, like the first drive of the game. It's time for that to change, man. Let him stay up. I want to hit. Sammy Hollins could have worn the same jersey this week and last week and finished both games. You wouldn't even know he played a football game. Oh my god! That's he, see? I'm rusty. I haven't made a tackle in a long time. That was a missed opportunity, I'll take that one, but I don't want it to happen again. First and 10, 38 point lead, that's a lot. Whoa, what are you, oh, lob it my way. Second down and 10, what do they have in store? Oh, it's a throw, could they go deep? No, they don't know how. Swings it, oh my god. Under smoke, not a big fan of this play, but call whatever you want at this point of the game. And <laughs> come on. I think they gotta either switch their scheme up or draft some better offensive linemen. Fourth and five. And what are they gonna do this time? Hey, it's a catch and he's out of bounds ahead of the first down marker. Clemson takes over. What a rough day for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. I expected this to be a lot more difficult to be honest. And just, oh my goodness, the route. It is incredible. Once again, no end. Why don't I get to see an end of the game sequence? I want to show my team celebrating. One tackle. Oh, one tackle. That's three the last two games. Sinjin Days was 10 of 21 passing for 89 yards. But how many of those... Ca oh my goodness, everybody was negative rushing. They had five drops as a team. Wow. Another cakewalk victory for the Clemson Tigers. And next up... How, we fell to no. We just dominated. What? Who's number one? You tell me one team that played better than us the last two weeks. We decimated Georgia Tech like 48 to zero. They were ranked. All right. Next up is Florida State. ACC matchup again. But who the hell is number one? USC, huh? They got 41 votes and we only got 20. What is the BCS and the media? The media agrees. The coaches all agree. Why? What did USC do this season? They beat Utah. So what? We could beat Utah. Put them on our schedule. Anyway, guys, it doesn't really matter where we're ranked because we're still 3-0, still a very strong team, and Sammy has to get back to making tackles again. After a strong showing in week one, only three the past two games, and we're going to have to have a good game to play against Florida State. They always play us pretty tough. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see ya next time.